Welcome to Tim Gray TV. I'm Tim Gray, and I absolutely love the water. Any opportunity, any excuse to get out in the water, I'm there. But my camera does not like being in the water. But fortunately, there are such things as waterproof cameras and underwater housings. I've used an underwater housing with my iPhone, for example, and there are a variety of underwater cameras available. For SLRs, though, most of the underwater housings tend to be very, very expensive. But fortunately, there's a great solution from Iwa Marine. This is an underwater housing for my SLR. It's basically a plastic bag for my SLR, but it's less than $300, a great value. There is optical glass on the front, an attachment for the lens, so everything stays steady. I don't get any vignetting. It can be, admittedly, a little bit tricky to manipulate the controls, especially underwater. The, the bag is rather buoyant. It's got a float in there and manipulating the focus, the zoom of the lens, the various camera controls can be a challenge. There is a little notch here for your finger for the shutter, so that works out very nicely. I try as much as possible to get everything established before I'm in the water, but I can still make some minor adjustments while I'm in the water as well. It enables me to get some shots that would otherwise be impossible with my SLR without having to compromise and use a smartphone, for example. And I don't always just use this housing underneath the water. It's great for when I'm just at the shore, right at the waves. I don't have to worry about a wave crashing over me and getting my camera wet because my camera is safe and sound inside the bag. So a great and affordable way to expand your photography out into the water.